This week at the Making Newsroom of the Center for Collaborative Journalism, it's a big week here at Mercy University as we welcome a record-breaking freshman class of more than a thousand students who are getting settled into campus and starting classes today. The Macon Bibb County Commission won't be meeting again until the Tuesday after Labor Day, but we are taping this month's Ask Mayor Miller program, so send your questions, concerns, and comments about Macon Bibb County government to mercerccj at gmail.com and we'll get you some answers later in the week. Local leaders plan strategy for future growth through the Make an Action Plan. You can give your input this Thursday at an open house from 5 to 8 p.m. at the Fall Line Brewing Company on Plum Street. And following the tragic deaths of Yuri Martin in Washington County and Brianna Greer in Hancock, our GPB broadcasting partner, Sophie Gratis, explains how the Washington County Sheriff's Office wants to improve law enforcement's response to those in crisis. They're leading the charge to pair law enforcement with mental health professionals in six rural counties in Middle Georgia. Plus, it's not just summer watering that could be increasing your water bill. We're taking a closer look at the Macon Water Authority's new automated meter readers and why their efficiency could be costing you more. And we just closed out the Macon Film Festival, but our brand new celebration will leave a lasting mark on the community next month. Learn how the Macon Arts Alliance is bringing a handful of mural artists to town to paint the downtown with creativity, hope, and inspiration in the first Macon Mural Festival. I'm Civic Journalism Senior Fellow Liz Fabian at the Center for Collaborative Journalism. You can learn more about these stories at our website, macon-newsroom.com.